All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to <clears throat> install or activate, as I want to call it, the C64 Basic on the RetroPie and Vice. Um, I'm not going to show you how to install RetroPie or Vice. Um, there's plenty of videos out there that already do that, um, and they do a great job. So um, we're just going to do uh, installing the C64 Basic so that you can use it. Um, there was a couple websites out there that I looked at first. Um, they show you, uh, one shows you you have to go out and get this basic.vsf file and install it, but the link was broken, so that didn't work. Um, another website just said put um, any file you want, it could be a, just a, a bogus file, into your ROM directory and call it something and you bring it up and the device will break out into basic. But uh, we're going to do it just a little bit cleaner. Um, and it comes with the realization that Vice um, is already installed on the machine. So since Vice is already installed, the ROM is already there. So we are just going to make a link to that ROM. Okay. So there's two ways. First thing we have to do is get into a terminal. So if you if you're into your, on your RetroPie, you can hit at least on my keyboard it's F4. You drop into terminal mode. I since I'm recording on my Mac, I am going to SSH into my Pi. So you use your username Pi and then you have to give it its address on your network. And the password for the Pi is usually a Raspberry. Okay. So if you hit F4 on your, your Raspberry Pi on the keyboard, you came into a terminal like this. Okay, so now we want to do one of two things. Either we're going to copy the ROM that's already in the vice directory, or we can just simply make a link to it. Um, I'm going to show the making a link to it, but copying is almost identical. Um, I just figure I might as well save 8K on my SD card. So, first thing we need to do is go to our ROMs directory for the C64. So, if we do an LS right now, uh, we can see that we are in home pi. Um, I printed the working directory, so we want to go into retro pi. So I'm going to use tab completion. I hit R, tab, and that's going to give us the retro pi directory. And you'll hear the little beeps when I hit tabs, but if you put a slash, I hit two tabs, and I can see, oh, there's the ROMs directory. And then we want to go into C64. Okay, so when we go into that directory, we will see that there are a lot of ROMs in here already. But we don't have one called basic. So if I brought up the RetroPie, we wouldn't have an option to go into basic. So all we need to do is make a link into this ROM directory to the basic ROM that's in the vice directory. Okay. So we're going to do ln for link, minus s to make it a symbolic link. Okay, And here you could also do cp for copy. And then the same second and third object that I'm going to put here. Um, it would do the same thing. It would just copy the 8 kilobytes across. So now we need to find the basic ROM. And it's just called basic at this point. So it's in the slash opt. And then I don't remember it offhand, so I just do tab completion, RetroPie. Uh, then we're going to go emulators, um, Vice, because we want to get it from the Vice emulator, Share, um, Vice again, and capital C64. Oop, we got to put a slash, and now we see there's basic in there, and that's the file that we want to create a link to. And then since we're in our, our ROM directory, we are going to call it basic.vsf for vice snapshot file. Okay, we ran that, and now we're in here, we can do an ls. And we can see that it added right here the basic.vsf file. Now, all you need to do is go back into your emulator. So if you had dropped out into the terminal on the
the Retro Pi, you just type Emulation Station, and you go back up. And when you get back into your Raspberry Pi and go to the Commodore ROMs, you're going to see Basic. You can click it, and there you go. You're off and running, um, doing some Basic programming or some uh, 6502 assembly. All right, there you go.